Yo! Oh my god. What's good? What's good with y'all? What y'all got going on today? What's good, what's good? What you got going on, Juan? Man, it's hot. Man, just out here hanging out. Your daddy, <laughs> I got a question. What's better for two Z V5s, 12s, a fourth order or six order? Um, my honest opinion on the fourth order or the six order, um, fourth order for one man, that thing travels um, and it will play like a good range of notes um, and the bass will be loud, you know, at, at a distance you're gonna hear that thing coming like a long mile away six order my opinion on six order um it's loud when you like sit up on it and get um inside it uh, it's gonna move like a lot of air but it will not travel but when you get up close to it it will um bang and the thing with them six orders if you don't get the formulas right man that's not gonna bang it's gonna um frank out you see what i'm saying it's gonna be a one one note wonder that's but that's just my opinion um because i've heard a lot of fourth orders and man they bang you see what i'm saying but the six orders that i have heard man they move a lot of pressure they're windy um but the thing is like if you're like um, from a distance, you won't hear it coming through. What it do, what it do. Man, I'm out here just sitting in the Silverado. Um, just hanging out. I'm actually doing a couple things. Let me, um, Check out going on today on this Friday. Yeah, should we play a little bit of jam? Hold on, let me connect my uh, phone because this thing might die. A little bit.
Let me play some, some music real quick. What y'all got going on today? Let me see if I can find some, some cram. Let me see. Man, I appreciate it, man. You know, the Silverado. It almost it took like almost like a whole year to build on and off with working on other projects you see the blow through part right there i think it's it's plain let me see ain't no location but i'm gonna dress it I think the epicenter's on. You see, you don't get messy. Rappers be so lame, but they won't fan from the media. Pull it out, my name will check me out. Wikipedia. No other words explain itself a lot. I defeated you. I got it off the muscle. Who the fuck said I needed you? I made a name for myself. Pussy boy, I don't need you. You breathe how I breathe, and you bleed how I bleed too. I roll like a duck, and we gon' smoke the black. I'm surprised this thing ain't fall, fall off yet. Let's point it up right here. Listen. All right, let's see how the song does. Man, work straight, all busy. Um, working on those door panels. Um, so it got to be busy. So it's actually like six door panels I'm building at the same time. But hopefully uh, this week coming up, they uh, will be done. Not done, but we'll be like fiberglassing. I'm trying to connect to Wi-Fi because um, I'm editing some stuff right now too. Let's see.
Let's see what this song does. Yo, what's up, song right here that I know. I'll have everything shaking. Where is it? Jams. And it's so hot, man. I got this lemonade. Okay. Let's see. setup my bad um so i actually got 412 uh e-series sundowns um it's like uh i think sundown makes like a shallow sub then it's actually the e-series um and i got 412 e-series sundown subs on a terra amps md 5000.1 man i think them 5000.1s don't play i mean they're like if you were to hear my truck in person sitting in it um that thing bangs you see what i'm saying and you know i always say i could even have some cheaper subs in here um on even like 3,000 watts and that thing would still get it because to me it's all in the box you see what i'm saying like you can have cheap subs a cheap amp but if your box is on point the output volume of that box design that's going to do the work uh, the subwoofers are going to do its job and play sound because they'll be able to hold that power and produce like noise base from that subwoofer box but the box actually decides how loud it is because you can build a box it's going to sound good but um the design of it um decides how much volume it'll make it my phone just rang. and i'm actually cutting hair i'm waiting for my next customer to come Right now, and my phone just died. That's crazy. Okay, let me see. Hopefully, this phone doesn't die right now either. Man, appreciate that, big dog. Way, way going on, my brother. Oh, man, what's up, man? What's good in the Caribbean, man? Appreciate you watching the channel and, and those who subscribe. I never once ever would have thought um, we'd have overseas subscribers or even just subscribers, period. You see what I'm saying? I mean, we're still a small channel, but to me, it's big because um, this is all very new to me.
what y'all got going on today how's the electrical um okay so i got double arc gauge ran from the front battery to the back um and i have uh four um man i forgot the actual name of the batteries but they're if I were to tell you, like, the batteries figure, they're, like, two iPhones put together and probably, like, an iPhone wide and an iPhone deep. Basically, like, figured this squared off. I got four of those 12-volt batteries in the back, uh, plus the one in the front with all aught gauge. Ran as much as possible. And then um, three grounds two going to the frame and then two going to the body uh and then all the amps like my the the sub amp it has the dual like the reducers going in so i can put two arc gauges in it um solid runs you know what i'm saying and i actually have short power wire runs so it's not a lot of like charging going at a long distance um like everything's like solid um my voltage doesn't even really drop to be honest with you like i have i can honestly say i can honestly say my system's never cut out on me and man i beat this thing for like hour like the longest i've jammed it like blaring loud non-stop was eight hours straight um full full volume and it's never cut out now it, it cut out at one time because i had uh it was my second day with the system and I didn't tune it like I was I was really supposed to. So when I took it to an event, I just had the sub amp cranked up all the way. And like those terror amps, they have like the clip and the um, the red light blinking. And it was I kept red light blinking. But man, I just kept beating it and beating it. And then it just went into protect. But then I backed down the gain a little bit and like readjusted a few things. And ever since that day, like that thing... Psh, has been solid you see what i'm saying um it probably starts clipping or blinking because it probably wants more power so more than likely in the future i will be adding uh an alternator doing the big three on it then doing alternator runs even to the back and then adding just another two set of batteries just for the subwoofers like mids and highs i think it's straight um but the base could use a little bit more but then that would mean that it would be more stress on my subs. So then them things will probably blow even a lot faster because those subs can only probably take like 500 watts a piece. So five times four, that's 2000 and we got a 5,000 on it. So it's like even double the power. So even if we were to add more juice to it, man, it's going to break those, those subs right out the, the basket, but we'll do it one day. We'll definitely do it one day. But I just feel that everything is like um, how it's supposed to be. That's why the system's lasted me so long. Because, man, I can make lives here all day and I just ride and jam. You see what I'm saying? Like, full blast. It was good, Mike. What would I say to a person beginning fiberglass work? The number one thing I'm going to tell you about fiberglass work is be very, very, very patient. Um, take your time because fiberglass can't catch fire. I'm not even going to lie to you. When you mix it too too hot, like too much, um, man, it's just going to get hot and then you're just going to waste material. Um, it is going to get itchy. You see what I'm saying? Because fiberglass has those fibers that, uh, man, they just get really itchy. So be expecting your clothes and your skin to be very itchy. And it, you, if you have an allergic reaction to it, man, you, um, make, you gotta take a body wash with acetone. Um, I remember when I first started doing it, man, I was all, the next day, I was like, man, why am I so itching? And then, you know, my pops ended up telling me like, man, it's cause it's the fiberglass, it's gonna get itchy. Um, but no, nah, man, it's good stuff. A lot of detail goes into it um then after you fiberglass the sanding that's the fun part 
and um, it's it's just time consuming, very time. Like these door panels I've been working on, um, I've been putting like five hour days in them, like almost for like three weeks now. And I'm barely to the point where I can start laying rings down. And then once I lay those rings down, then I have to fleece six door panels. Then I have to glass them all. And I can't rush them because fiberglass, like, it'll make the, if you want a straight panel, you got to be patient with it. Because if you try to glass it too fast or rush it, it's going to taco. So when you go to put it on the door panel or something, it's going to be bowed up. And then on those sections that's bowed up, you have to fill it in with fiberglass or with like a filler so it'll be straight. But in reality, the, the panels kick, so it's always good just to take your time and let it go slow and um, do what it's supposed to do straight. But man, try it. It's, it's, it's good. I like it because then you can really, um, anybody can build flat panels, but it takes like skill and art to build those panels with the curves and everything on it. And people do like all that stack stuff and all that stuff which is straight you know what i'm saying but um i feel like it's just more i mean once you get to used to doing whatever nothing's um takes time it's just you know you perfect your art i like fiberglass though. i'm not even gonna lie and so i'm actually 37 and I've been messing around with car audio since I was like, uh, like seven years old, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. When we had two cars, I take the speakers from one car, put them onto the other one. And same thing with the radio, put it from run radio to the other one. And then the, the putting speakers on the bike. Um, then we had the type of like boom boxes that you can connect the speakers up to them. Take the speakers from like the surround sound put them in the room, try to take apart the TV and find the speakers were out on the TV in the front, clip those wires, put the surround sound speakers connected directly to that. Man, it's it's been a journey. It's been a journey. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna have to call it a day on the live. I appreciate you guys tuning in, but I actually got a. I'm actually, it's Friday, and I'm actually cutting hair, and my customer's getting ready to pull up. I'm about to go cut some hair. Um, watch today's video. Oh yeah, man. And that was before I even knew about own speakers. But then I actually had to figure out how to make the TV or anything without like cutting out. So then that's when I learned how to like series. And I didn't even know nothing about that stuff. So actually I have got a little older, but one day I'll tell my story, my car audio story, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and it's, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I've done a lot of like crazy, funny stuff along the way. Um, and the people that I have met throughout my time and then my career, working in a car audio shop i actually worked in the car audio shop for 10 years um so i got to like and i'm really a, an electrician you know really like the wiring doing alarms uh gps's um backup sensors uh serious satellite radio xm double dense you know fabricating double dense um to the cars before there was actually the dash kits of all this stuff um integrating making both systems work uh, working on like the corvettes working on like lamborghinis um maseratis you know doing full-blown you know electrical on those guys led lights you know i'm actually a, like an electrician that's actually my my strong point the fabrication stuff i always knew how to do it but it's it wasn't my strong point but i knew how to do it and i can get it done and sanding you know obviously i can sand and do the fiberglass work but i learned along the way because i worked with so many people along the way and that i learned a lot and watched a lot you know what i'm saying like i never asked any questions on why they were doing it, I just sat there and watched and then asked questions 
um, and then, you know, learn from them. And then when I got my hands on and um, started dabbing on it, then, you know, I would start doing some side jobs, doing boxes and doing this and that. So I started slowly learning. And, you know, I've actually worked along with like really badass box builders to where I know my knowledge from. And then all the stuff that I learn now doing it on my own, I know what works. You see what I'm saying? So, man, I hope, you know, we can get some badass cars along the way with this YouTube journey. That we can do some crazy badass cell systems that I know no one's doing on YouTube. But trust me, like, um, man, we got all the, we got the juice. You know what I'm saying? We're just slowly trying to progress. And when we start really, you know taking that next level like listen like man we are gonna do some stuff like we're like one thing i want to do is i want to buy a limo and man i want to i want to hook that limo up you see what i'm saying we'll put some tvs in it man we'll put some bang in it man we'll just drive that thing up and down like the main street jamming beating and throwing beads out at people you see what i'm saying so we got a lot of stuff coming up man i i appreciate every single one of you guys that watch the youtube channel hit that like button hit that subscribe we got the giveaway going on um if you want to join that's awesome if you don't that's awesome too i appreciate you guys for you just stopping in um so i'll catch you guys on the next one man